Well, joining me in the studio again are my guests, Adi Oladipo, the founder of Box Talk UK, and the boxer, Eric the Eagle Ocheng. Now, uh, let's talk boxing. Why not? Uh, we want to know more about Box Talk UK. So, how did you start it? Um, me and my friend Ryan uh, were just, oh, to be fair, more him than me, just absolute nut on boxing. Um, and we used to kind of watch boxing matches at his house or my house on a regular basis, every Saturday, Sunday, whatever it was on. And um, we kind of um, listened to the, the opinions of sort of ringside experts, so-called experts and <laughs> analysts and commentators, and we just didn't agree with it. Mm -hmm. And we used to go on Twitter and YouTube after, and a lot of people didn't agree with it. So we kind of felt like, you know, let's just kind of voice our own opinions about the fights. And, and initially it was a bit controversial. Um, we got turned down for press passes and media accreditation wow. because we were criticising events, and um, we had to tone that down just a little bit. But well, we it's tried refreshing to keep when you rules. do something like that. What's the overall response been? The overall response has been great. Um, a fight would happen and immediately now people will email us or, what, uh, or tweet us and say, what do you guys think? What was your impression? Mm -hmm. At one of Eric's fights, um, his last fight, um, he got a draw in and he, it was a complete robbery. He won the fight clearly. And so we went on Twitter right straight away. We made a video about it on YouTube straight away. I think it's refreshing for people to do that. Um, and I think people like Eric who might not be able to come out and say it, it's kind of down to us, so to speak, to kind of say it for him. And I think a lot of people have taken to that kind of, even like that kind of commentary, uh, and that's what we continue to do. Do you think that Box Talk UK is kind of like the mouthpiece for f fighters like yourself? Yeah, it's, it's good because um, some audience that are not able to hear what I say, they'll hear what, you know what I'm saying, what you guys are saying. So it's very important. It's good. It helped boxing and, okay. yeah, <laughs> push <laughs> boxing to, to a different, different, different audience. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's focus a bit more on you and your next fight this week. Tell me more about it. Yeah, my, I'm fighting at Yoko Bethnal Green on the 28th of May, and it's a 10-rounder for the vacant Savannah title against Tamuka Mucha. And um, I'm in great shape. I'm in the best shape of my life, and I'm looking to take care of business on the 28th of May. So um, this is a good fight, and um, I'm ready to win it. I've done all that I need to do. How is it now? I mean, we spoke outside and, you know, you've gone from 154 pounds. You're now fighting 147 pounds. I said you don't even look like you're 147 pounds now. You look strong. Is the weight thing a better issue for you coming down to 147 pounds? I mean, I'm in the best shape of my life and it's the best thing that I'm, I come down to waterway because I'm stronger. Mm. You know, as, you know as, as I told you, like, like me the way, I was given too much weight. Mm. You know, we weigh the same, but the guy that fill up, they're stronger, they're bigger the next day, because mm. when we weigh in, the next day I see them say, no, he must be his brother, because he looks bigger, mm, mm. right? So coming down to Walter weight, I got more power, I feel more comfortable, I can make the way easy, and um, it's going to be more KOs. Yeah. Okay, well, after your next fight, what is going to be the goal for you? Do you want to go to the States, or do you want to stay here? Um, of course, we got the British title to win. You know, I must win the British title. After winning my fight on the 28th, Straight away, I'm going to be on Eddie Ann, you know, to make the, Brit the British fight happen. OK. Any other questions? Um, what's, what's the aspirations? Obviously, you're in the richest division in, in boxing right now. Obviously, we saw Maver Pacquiao, multi, multi, multi-millions. You're in a rich division even in this country. Obviously, Kelbrook, Amir Khan, Frankie Gavin. You'll be looking at the likes of, I guess, Glenn Foote's fight, Sam Ingleton for the British title. That's the kind of way you're looking for at the moment, yeah? Absolutely. You know, I mean, a great division is a busy division. And we got great fights. Um, of course, I won the winner of the British title, Sam Eggington. Mm. You know, whoever win the title, mm. I'm going to be taking the title off them. Of course, you got Kelbrook, got Amir Khan. Khan is fighting as well. You got Kelbrook. I'm um, defending his title, world title, on the 30th. Mm. So um, it's a busy division, and yes, I'm looking to I'm looking to take care of business in this division, and it's the future's bright. That's I good. could say that. The future is super bright. Well, let's have a look at another fight. Uh, Golovkin against Foch. Now, which way do you think it's going to go? Should it happen? Honestly, it'll, it'll be like two bricks trying to hit each other, mm -hmm. and one brick has to be um, stronger than the other. I, I don't think it will happen. We were speaking off camera. I don't think it will happen. Why not? Um, I think at Carl Froch's age and where his legacy stands, Carl Froch three, four years ago would have taken this fight straight away. Carl Froch right now is going to be 38. He would have been out of the ring for over a year. That's a long, long time. You know that. Momentum's Definitely. key for boxers. 
And I just think Golovkin right now is just on a rampage where <laughs> nobody wants to fight him. No one. I mean, Eric, how that? good is Cole? How good is Golovkin? Uh, Golovkin is a beast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's quite simple. He's a beast. No one's going to fight him. He's yeah. a beast from the east. I mean, <laughs> man, he's got he's got dynamite in his hand. You yeah. know, you know when he touch you, you know they're gone. You know most of his fight, you know he knock out his opponents. So um, he's I don't see no one um, beating him. At the moment, currently, as we're speaking, mm. you know, as we're, we're Someone speaking, Someone like Andre Ward, maybe Andre uh, Ward, 68 pounds. Um, Andre Ward, he, he will give him a boxing lesson. He's he's got good feet work, good timing. I think, yeah, he'll beat him. Mm.